So far as scientific evidence goes, the universe has crawled by slow stages to a somewhat pitiful result on this earth and is going to crawl by still more pitiful stages to a condition of universal death. If this is to be taken as evidence of purpose, I can only say that the purpose is one that does not appeal to me. I see no reason, therefore, to believe in any sort of God. That's quite uh, a depressing statement. As you say, this is a bleak outlook on our universe and the emergence of human consciousness. So let me ask, what is the more hopeful perspective to take on this story? Well, I think the more hopeful perspective is to more fully understand um, what was driving Bertrand Russell to this perspective and then to see it within a broader context. And really, that's, in some sense, what, what my book Until the End of Time is all about. But in brief, I would say that there's a lot of truth to what Bertrand Russell was saying there. When you look at the second law of thermodynamics, which is the underlying scientific idea that's driving this notion that everything's going to wither, decay, fall apart. Yeah, that's true. Second law of thermodynamics establishes that disorder, entropy, in aggregate, is always on the rise. And that is indeed interpretable as disintegration and destruction over sufficiently long timescales. But my view is when you recognize how special that makes us, that we are these exquisitely ordered configurations of particles that only will last for a blink of an eye in cosmological time-like terms, the fact that we're here and we can do what we do, to me, that's just really something that inspires gratitude and wonder and, and a sense of, of deep purpose by virtue of being these unique collections of entities that happen to rise up, look around and try to figure out where we are and what the heck we should do with our time. 